Hello and welcome to the lecture Resistome and Exposome. In the first chapter, you will not only learn about the danger arising from antimicrobial resistant microorganisms, but also how they are embedded in microbiomes. Antimicrobial resistance is a term that describes a broad range of resistance mechanisms in microorganisms to withstand different agents that would kill them or inhibit their multiplication. This description includes also antibiotic resistance, which specifically describes resistance against antibiotics or therapeutic agents. Each year, antimicrobial resistant microorganisms cause more than 700,000 deaths worldwide, according to the World Health Organization. Numbers are currently on the rise and require targeted counteractions. Various molecular mechanisms can confer antimicrobial resistances, which are most common in bacteria but can also occur in pathogenic fungi. One of the most common mechanisms conferring antimicrobial resistance is provided by efflux pumps. This term describes a variety of transmembrane proteins that can actively pump out substances from a microbial cell. Microorganisms commonly employ this mechanism to remove toxic substances and some have adapted it during the last decades to eliminate therapeutic agents and survive under high concentrations of antimicrobials. Another resistance principle relies on substance inactivation by enzymes. Microbial cells can evolve to produce enzymes that inactivate therapeutic agents and thus render them useless. Another mechanism is based on target alteration. Here, mutation or replacement of a cellular target can completely eliminate the efficacy of the therapeutic agent. These are only some examples for a variety of resistance mechanisms which can either occur alone or in distinct combinations within one microbial cell. As you may know, bacteria as well as other unicellular and multicellular organisms are able to transfer genetic material between each other via so-called horizontal gene transfer. Within a microbial community, such genetic exchange occurs very often and plays also an important role in the evolution of organisms. Via horizontal gene transfer, also antimicrobial resistant genes can be transferred within the microbial community that inhibits the same microenvironment. If such a resistance gene is transferred to a pathogenic microorganisms, then the possibility to cure infected patients is limited, especially when it comes to multiresistance. Multiresistance is a term that is used to specifically indicate that one specific microorganism carries multiple antimicrobial resistance mechanisms. Multiresistant pathogens are of significant concern when they are enriched in hospitals, which is very often the case. Patients that are being treated for other reasons and have a suppressed immune system can acquire them and this can end fatally for the affected patients. There is also a specific term for this, such infections are referred to as nosocomial infections or hospital-acquired infections, short HAI, and their incidence rate ranges between 4.6% and 9.3% in the European Union. Currently, we are facing a so-called antibiotic resistance crisis. This describes the circumstance that a steadily decreasing number of therapeutic agents is available to combat antimicrobial resistant pathogens. Once the remaining last resort antibiotics, a term that describes antibiotics that are still effective against multiresistant pathogens, are depleted, rather simple infections will cause life-threatening conditions. The World Health Organization has issued a top 12 list of emerging antimicrobial resistant pathogens that pose a high risk for humankind. This list includes bacteria such as Acinetobacter baumani and Pseudomonas aeruginosa that were believed to be a burden of the past. We must therefore put targeted countermeasures into action in order to escape the increasingly threatening antibiotic resistant crisis. In order to develop sustainable and long-lasting countermeasures, it is important to understand where and why antimicrobial resistance develop. Antimicrobial resistances can naturally occur in the environment. This is something that we will discuss in more detail in the next chapter. However, the anthropogenic overuse as well as the misuse of antibiotics are the main reason why many multiresistant pathogens are on the rise. Currently, the majority of antibiotics, approximately 70% of the entire antibiotics produced, is used for livestock farming. 
Here, the antibiotics are not only applied to treat infected animals, but more commonly as a preventive measure or even for the purpose to increase weight gains of farmed animals. In addition, due to the overuse of agrochemicals, also a wide range of resistant plant pathogenic fungi are emerging and drastically affect health of our crop plants and thereby food production systems. Another reason that aggravates the emergence of antimicrobial resistances is due to the global tendency of healthcare personnel to hastily prescribe antibiotics coupled with incorrect intake by patients. The World Health Organization recently concluded that antibiotic resistance must be tackled based on the One Health principle. This means that it is insufficient to focus on the treatment of infections in infected humans and animals, but rather that emergence of antimicrobial resistances should be tackled at an earlier time point, namely in the environment and the food production chain. Methodological advancements, which can be employed to analyze whole resistomes, provide the required basis for such approaches. The resistome describes the entirety of antimicrobial resistances that occur within the microbiome. It is part of the microbiome and not of the microbiota, because resistant genes can be present inside non-living structures like plasmids or cell-free DNA. Due to technological advances like high-throughput sequencing, it became feasible to holistically analyze resistomes. This allows us to comparatively assess the prevalence of various antimicrobial resistances in different environments. It also allows us to improve our understanding of antimicrobial resistance emergence and to identify relevant intramicrobiome interactions. For example, a particular antimicrobial resistance could emerge in a microorganism in the environment that does not yet pose a threat. However, the newly developed resistance could be transferred to a pathogen which spreads over our food chain until it infects susceptible individuals. This example not only visualizes why resistome analysis are a valuable tool to better understand emergence of antimicrobial resistances, but also why it is important to consider the One Health principle for future solutions. So to sum this chapter up, clearly antimicrobial resistance is a serious threat for humankind. It will require countermeasures that must include the One Health principle to sufficiently address this global problem. The built environment, especially medical care institutions, as well as agricultural environments, are important sources for resistant microorganisms. However, recent research has po pointed out that antimicrobial resistance is also a common feature in natural resistomes. You will hear more about that in the next lecture. Thank you for your attention and see you there.